This video shows you how to rebuild the Dynaflow single head and dual head DV1 model vacuum pumps. Woods Power grip stock numbers 66134 and 66136, also shown as 93220 and 93221 in some instructions. To rebuild either of these vacuum pumps, you will need the pump head assembly, stock number 66197 for the single head pump, or two pump head assemblies, stock number 66197AA for the dual head pump. You will also need one diaphragm kit, stock number 66197AM per pump head. The head assembly is a complete part with integrated valves, new mounting screws, and lock washers. The diaphragm kit comes with an O-ring, a flat washer, a diaphragm, and a retaining screw. All of these parts are required for each pump head, so two of each stock number are required for the dual head pump. For tools, you will need a number two Phillips screwdriver, appropriate sized wrenches to remove the fittings, and a torque wrench. You will also need a suitable thread sealant, such as Loctite 565 or Teflon pipe tape, as well as a low strength thread locker, such as Loctite 222. In most cases, the single head pump can be rebuilt without removing it from the mounting location, though this varies by lifter model due to the location of the fittings. To access the bottom head and fittings of the dual head pump, you will need to remove the pump from the mounting location. Otherwise, the process is the same for both kinds of pumps. Disconnect any hoses attached to the pump. Pay attention to their locations for correct reassembly. Remove the fittings from the pump head. Note the orientation of the pump head ports and the attached fittings for correct reassembly. If you must remove the pump head to access the fittings, make sure to use padding, such as wood blocks and cardboard, to protect the head from damage. Use the number 2 Phillips screwdriver to remove the four screws securing the pump head. Lift the pump head off the vacuum pump. This exposes the diaphragm under the pump head. The diaphragm has a rounded surface that must be face up when installed. Use the number 2 Phillips screwdriver to remove the retaining screw from the center of the diaphragm. Remove the old diaphragm from the connecting rod. The flat washer and o-ring beneath the diaphragm will also be replaced. Apply a single drop of low strength thread locker, such as Loctite 222, to the new retaining screw. Carefully place the new flat washer and o-ring on the end of the connecting rod. Insert the point of the screwdriver through the center hole of the diaphragm. Make sure that the rounded surface faces up. Use the screwdriver to align the washer, o-ring, and connecting rod as you press the diaphragm against these parts to hold them in place. Secure the diaphragm to the connecting rod using the new retaining screw. Torque to approximately 22 inch-pounds. 2.5 Newton meters. Place the bit end of the number 2 Phillips screwdriver into the head of the retaining screw. Slightly twist the screwdriver clockwise. Applying slight tension, pull upward on the screw to move the diaphragm to top center. This reduces the chance of pinching the diaphragm when the head assembly is installed. Reinstall the head assembly in its original orientation. Secure using the four screws and lock washers.
Apply thread sealant, such as Loctite 565 or Teflon pipe tape, to the male threads of the fittings and reinstall these fittings. Cut a small portion off the end of each hose to remove any distorted or damaged sections. Reattach the hoses to their original locations. Your pump is now ready to be tested and returned to service.